Denise. No, no, that wasn't. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, you get that, and people don't realize, and, and you've seen it now, with especially with what you're doing, what it takes to be a college athlete. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Mean, no, that's exactly right. You look at, uh, you know, we, we travel around a little bit in the summer and watch some of the bigger AAU tournaments, Chicago and – in Denver and some other places like that, in Indianapolis, and and you see these kids and these, I mean, they're just you know their coaches lined deep at these games, and you're like, you know, and at the end of the game, it's who can get there first, and, mm-hmm. and I mean, and these kids are some of them aren't even upperclassmen yet. It's yeah. it's getting pretty crazy, but uh, I think some of the kids almost look forward to the high school season where there's a little more controlled mm-hmm. environment and some of that, but uh, certainly it's fun to be wanted for a while, and then. I would imagine it probably gets a little bit, a little bit tiresome sometimes. Yeah. So you mentioned that that they're one of the sandwich teams. Is that kind of your your middle of the middle of the road teams? Yeah. So so the Alice and I really don't like to make any coaches mad, right? Yeah. So we we don't really go go too far in the predictions, but we've kind of got our our summit teams. Okay. Call. There's about four of those. We've got about four teams that kind of play in that and what we call the sandwich group that. You know, wouldn't surprise us either way. And then we've got some uh, what we call the hill climbers, the, the last five. But really, this year, uh, nobody's really going to surprise us. Yeah. Um, you know, Olathe East has won the Sunflower League three years in a row. Okay. And they lost their best player in McKenna Weinmiller, but they returned some nice players, Molly Kemmer, big post underneath, and some of that. So if they could win four, it would probably be a surprise compared to some of the other teams in the Sunflower League that have – probably more talent Mm -hmm. but coach martin just seems to get it done and and we have them kind of in a sandwich pool because they lost so many players yeah okay but who knows you know but um yeah so we have shawnee mission east kind of that sandwich group that you know like you said earlier wouldn't surprise you anybody but yeah but if they if they lost to a team that might be in that bottom half it might not surprise anybody either based on some of their some of their games last year yeah um who are some of your summit teams so we're I think probably the, the, no, none of these are going to be real surprises. I don't think Olathe South certainly return you know returns a great group of kids. Danny Winslow uh, has been committed to the Missouri State top twenty five team in women's basketball this year. Uh, she'll you know she's been committed to them since she was a sophomore. Great player has been around for a long time. Sophie Reed and Mandy Truett they've got a couple of girls who are sophomores. Reagan Ponzer and and uh, Reagan Halliday. Both really nice young players, and Coach Allen does a great job following Coach Ingram's, you know, multitude of state championships that he brought there. They'd be probably most people's favorite to win the the Sunflower League this year. Um, Olathe North, they've got mm-hmm. at, when they get off yeah. that bus, they look like a college team coming out. You know, they they it seems added like every sport with them. They added some nice talent, and they've got Lily Love, of course, who committed to Georgia Tech this year. Great player. Um, she's just just does a really nice job, athletic, long, can play outside, can can battle inside a little bit. They will miss Leanna McGinnis, who's playing over at Johnson County Community College this year. But Latha North will be there, right with Latha South. And then the other two we have in there are uh, Shawnee Mission West, who's kind of, you know, I I call them kind of a surprise team this year a little bit. They mm-hmm. they bring Coach Rabbit back over to Shawnee Mission West on the girls' side this year uh, to, to coach them. And they've got a young athlete named Kiara Prim, who's a great track kid, 100-yard, 200-yard dash, uh, just a great athlete who uh, plans to play at the next level. She hasn't signed anywhere yet, but she'll be a great player for them, uh, along with a, two great post players and Aiden Moxness and Tayden Gray, both really nice young posts. And then they bring in this girl, and everybody talks about her, but you haven't really seen her other than on NBC Sports, Samaya Nichols. Incoming freshman who was on the uh, junior WM or the junior NBA team that won the uh, world championship this year. Wow. So she's about a six-one guard, uh, quick. Uh, I've seen her play a little bit in the summer league, but all the coaches have mentioned her. So you throw that in with some of some of what they have, and, and they'll be a formidable opponent for a lot of people. And then you know uh, probably the uh, the the last one I think is going to be another great team, Shawnee Mission Northwest. Uh, Coach Stewart over there does a great job coaching up his team. He, they've got a young lady named Kennedy Taylor, just a great post player. She's getting recruited by a lot of the top five, power five conference teams, um, does a great job inside, really is just kept up with the growth of her body, if you will. She's not 
uh, awkward or anything like that when she plays. Just a real nice post. And they have Kylie Dunn and and uh, Tamara Harris Webster, who are both nice uh, young players that uh, can shoot from the outside. And and again, Coach Stewart just seems to you know coach his team up every time he plays. So those four teams would be kind of right there at the at the what we call the summit. I would say. Yeah. So. Um, you know, it's always tough to predict anything when it comes to high school kids. I mean, right. you know, I, the thing I've learned being in coaching, uh, you know, as long as I have about 17 years, and it's just, you know, the, if a kid's girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with them <laughs> that day, all of a sudden right before the game, it's hard for them to shake yeah. that. And, you know, you're like, man, why is this kid not playing so play, playing up to their ability today? Yep. Well, you know, you don't know what happened. So. Got a D on a test or something, or yeah, yeah, something could be anything. (laughs) Anything. Yeah, it's it's always tough to predict. So you got it. I mean, I I, you know I feel like those four teams are you know as I look at the Sunflower League uh, of the thirteen, you know, I mean those are those four you can make an argument for. I feel like you mentioned some of your sandwich teams. I feel like those are teams that you could possibly make an argument for too that could be up there, you know, in the top well six or eight. And when you bring in five new coaches. You got Never new know. new systems, and in in Coach Rhodes and Coach Rabbit and Coach Williams are all n- new to their teams this year, but they're not really new to the league, so they kind of know just enough to make them dangerous. But I think uh, it's going to be a fun year to watch how how some of this unravels. And you know, five five teams in the preseason top ten are from the Sunflower League and six A girls. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and right out of the gate, we get some great tournaments that come up here uh, this weekend. It's actually starting tomorrow. Cool. Um, some great tournaments of, of some of these teams right out of the gate. Yeah, that that leads us right into, you know, kind of the next thing we were going to talk about, these these first few matchups and talk about these tournaments. I know on your Twitter, you know, you guys have been running polls. Uh, yeah. I think I saw from last week, which we don't want to reveal all the results of that yet, but, um, you know, we want people to tune into your show too to hear some of that. But what are what are some of the tournaments you, you were looking forward to, to covering this yeah, this weekend? Well, this weekend is and in, in into next week, really. Uh, you, you get the, the Latha East Hawk Classic is a great tournament this year. Uh, Latha East is in and the Latha South is in it. Um, they both will be, as what we already talked about, but they throw in Liberty High School and Missouri side, who's, I think, in, in Class 5, ranked number 3 maybe uh, in there. Uh, you got wow. Barstow, who historically hasn't been a great – team but they added uh, a couple of twin players that transferred there and all of a sudden they're a formidable opponent um there are a lot of really good teams they're playing in that tournament that will uh will be good to see uh and you go over to the uh, hudamaki classic which is at desoto high school and you've got a northwest who's ranked eighth right now in the, in the in the state and they went the furthest of any of the sunflower league teams last year uh you've got uh Olathe North in that tournament. You've got Shawnee Mission West in that tournament. You throw Gardner, DeSoto, and a team, Truman, from over on the Missouri side that's, you know, played a few games already and won by 30-plus every game, and they've got some nice wow. athletes on their team. They're, I think, ranked uh, in the top five in, in Class 4 over in, uh, in Missouri. Wow. So that's those two tournament. tournaments by themselves yeah, good. are going to be great tournaments. Uh um, Olathe West heads out to uh, Hayes and playing uh, St. Thomas Aquinas is out that same tournament, so that'll be a nice tournament for them to get a, get their feet wet in against uh, some really quality opponents out there. And then you've got Shawnee Mission South playing in the uh, Liberty North tournament over here. They're the only uh, Kansas team playing over there, but uh, there's some some good teams playing in the Liberty North tournament as well that that they'll get. Uh, Coach Western will have his team ready to go. But uh, you know Olathe East and Olathe North play a league game this on Friday oh, uh, wow. before the tournaments. So that's going to be a, a really good test for both those teams out of the gate just to get yeah. a feel for where they're at in the season. We got a good uh, we got a good class 3 matchup here at Tybee Arena on the December 21st. It's a Saturday at noon, so if you want to come down and watch it, um, uh, Serena Sundell, which is being very heavily looked at. I don't know if yep. you've heard of her. Yep. Uh, UMKC or Kansas City Roos coach was looking at her last night at the Savannah tournament, but um, they're going to be taking on California. So you got one end of kind of this area, and then the other end. Yeah. All the, all, so it'll be a good game here. Yeah, there's some great basketball both sides of the state, and again, it's fun to watch. And again, we we see a lot of that during the you know the summer summertime play. But yeah, um, it's good 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 teams to be playing. But those will be some of the best tournaments 
Uh, get out and see them. When, like I said, one's the late the East. They get they start off next week, and so does uh, DeSoto tournament. They alternate days, so DeSoto starts on Monday, play Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday, Saturday. And the late the East tournament starts Tuesday and plays Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So hey, you can watch basketball for like the next ten days if you're really yeah. into 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 that. So yeah, very cool, well, fantastic. And we we've, we've got one of the best uh, lady athletes, uh, basketball players, putting on a clinic here. Um, a holiday clinic, and that's uh, uh, a Betty, uh, Betty, uh, um, uh, Betty, Betty, uh, blah, 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 I'm losing it. I'm getting <laughs> old. Slate, Jim. Len- Lennox? Lennox, Betty Lennox. Yeah, Lennox. yeah, yeah. yeah. She'll, she'll be uh, putting on that clinic here yeah. for, for the uh, second grade to eighth graders. So, you know, come on down and Great enjoy that. Great one to come that. down to, absolutely. Yeah. If you're a youngster. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so one thing we like to ask is uh, we asked all the guests, barbecue. What's favorite? Man, it's hard to beat Joe's. It really hey, we is. We got two Joe's tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, oh, it's good. I hate to be too suburban on it, and no. you know, but that's <laughs> right in the heart of the Sunflower League, right? I mean, yeah, you know, I, I gotta gotta stick with it. But yeah, Joe's is, you know, always be Oklahoma Joe's to me. But you know, Joe's KC is certainly yeah. I, I can't can't go wrong there very often. Yeah, what's your go to uh, choice meat wise when you go there? Well, I I mean the fries are the. Yeah, kicker yeah. for me, but you know, I, I, I get the slop, I get the, uh, I, I get the Smoky Joe. It's there you a go, little mix of all oh, the meats, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's kind of you know, it's simple, but gives me, saves me room for those fries. Yeah, I so, but their ribs are outstanding too. So yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I usually either go Z Man or I go or I go with ribs. Usually there, Z Man's really. Yeah, it's it's hard, 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 hard to beat either one, but yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to argue really against any of the barbecue places here in Kansas City. Absolutely, um, you know. But and then when you go to one of them, it's hard to argue against a item on their menu. Yeah, it's like man, everything's so. Every time I go, every place I just want to get its, like everything. Every place has its best. Yeah, you know, I mean, Q thirty nine. You can't. I mean, there's some great barbecue yeah. over there, although it's a little more. You know, scale. a little upscale. Here, so yeah, that, yeah. But I no, I haven't been there. I've been. I, I've been there that. once. Um, I, I, you know, I, I thought it was good. It, it, uh, it's not it's really not the hard har- barbecue of Kansas no. City. You know, I, I don't you. think. But. Drew, Drew Gooden thinks it's the best. He said yeah, he, 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 he hit the the uh, three on three. The Trump. Yeah. They 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 asked him about barbecue, and he's like. Gates has lost me. Uh, you're letting me down. Going Q39, baby. <laughs> well, he can afford that Q39 a little more now, can he? Well, I'll tell you, I went to Gates um, coming back from a state uh, playoff game the other day, and I was just craving some good, warm barbecue. And I uh, uh, burn in sandwich and fries and a drink. 20, I think it was like 16 bucks or something like that. I mean, so they're, yeah. all, they're all getting up there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah, so, you know, Kansas City barbecue is great. Sunflower League girls basketball. It's it's going to be an interesting yeah. year in the Sunflower League. Um, again, you can find uh, Brian Toto's stuff at Sunflower Smack on Twitter, www.sunflowersmack.com. Um, any players uh, that you miss that you want to get their name out there, uh, you know, maybe for any college coaches well, that are I'd, tuning in. You know, I think it's I I think I'll, I'll mention a couple of uh, commitments that happened this week. Uh, Lacey okay. Wickham. Really nice, uh, scrappy point guard uh, over at Shawnee Mission South. Signed with Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Cool. Okay, uh, real nice play, real nice kid for for them over there. She's a really, she's kind of that player that I don't know if you guys are Missouri, how old you are, but Missouri fans. But Jason Sutherland back in the day, okay. the guy you hated to play against. Everybody didn't like it, but when you when that person was on your team, that's the player you. you was your favorite Lacey a little bit like that just kind of scrappy not, yeah. not afraid of anybody yeah um and then uh Sophia Seaman over at Gardner Edgerton she's a junior over there uh committed to Lindenwood University this year and she'll uh she's coming back from a, a back injury but she she committed this week so I think those are a couple of players that uh you know had some had some good uh success this uh this past week and we you know we'll, we'll continue to see some of that I mean this league mm-hmm. is I know some other players who are getting watched a lot. You know, we've obviously had the Lele Loves at Georgia Tech and Danny Winslow's going to Missouri State. And, you know, but you've got the Riley Wade at Olathe Northwest is going to, you know, Colorado Christian Division II school. And mm-hmm. a lot of those those level players I think that you're going to see this year really commit and, and, and play really well in a lot of these uh, various uh, divisions. And we'll see the Sunflower League continue to, to get there and – um, I, I, you know, I certainly there are 
so many so many good players. But you know, Bailey Collar, another great player, Latha West, who's just a junior. I know she, I know she was out at Emporia State this this past week. She's the leading returning scorer in the Sunflower League. Uh, her teammate Mackenzie Hart, who's also the same age as her, is uh, was a leading returner in steals and assists.